Hello Capricorn and welcome to your May 2020 mid-month reading. This is for Capricorn. Capricorn, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Alright Capricorn, this is for you. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Capricorn, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate. with every Capricorn out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn? Well, I see too many people already. Okay. I see too many people. Um, I see a couple different people looking at you and trying to figure out what you're going to do here. Uh, big decision here for you, but I'm seeing threes, threes. A big decision here for you. And this is going to be a huge lesson. A huge lesson for you here on what whatever this decision is. Um, you're about to make. I feel like you're going to, I mean, clearly follow your heart here, right? That's the advice, plain and simple. But, right, are you going to choose love or stability? I feel like that is the question. And this is going to be a huge karmic lesson for you. Huge. Um, so things are changing. We got the wheel of fortune here. Um, I mean, that's what it boils down to love or money. And you're going to have to be very, very honest with yourself here. You're going to have to be honest with yourself. And I don't think you're being very honest with yourself on, on what's, what's going on here right? I feel like, I feel like if you knew that you were stable enough, you, because stability is very important to you. It's very important to everybody, right? I feel like you could take, you would take what you could get and, and just leave one situation so you could follow your heart to another. But is this where your heart is, is it stable enough? I feel like that's where where this decision is, is very difficult for you. Very difficult for you. Um, so big lessons here. Things are changing. The wheel is turning. Um, this is fate. This is destiny. You were put in this position for a reason. And I feel like you, um, what, what you do here, um, what you do here is, is um, it's going to be a learning experience for you. So what do you want, Capricorn? Do you want love or money? And I know that you are going to say both, right? And um, I feel like, you know, you can, you can have both, but I feel like there's a fear here that where your heart is, isn't going to be, um, stable. You want it to be stable. And I'm sure, um, you know, if you work towards it, it will be stable, but it's not the most stable situation where you're at is the stable situation, but there's no love there. It's like, it's like, you don't, you're, there's no love where you're at, but there's stability. Where you want to be, there's love, but no stability. So you're going to have to figure out what you want here. Nine of Cups, this is water energy. 
What is going to make you happy? Love or money? Where is your balance here? Where's the reciprocity? I feel like where you are coming from, stable, yes. I feel like it was a one-sided situation. I just feel very um, in balance here in the past. Where you're going, I feel like it's emotional um, equilibrium, right? I do. I feel like with like the two of you feel are on the same page with your emotions in regards to each other. Um, the past, however, you may be you may be trying to figure out a way to um, I don't know. For some of you, there could be child support involved or alimony or something like that. The past simply is not balanced. That's for some of you, not all of you, with the child support and alimony thing. But the imbalance of the past, right? But the emotional balance of the future. Six of Pentacles, this is um, Earth energy. Where are you going to find your true balance here? Where is your heart you have a huge decision to make the lovers card right are you going to follow your heart here very strong connection with this this um, future energy right very strong connection so you'll be dealing with a gemini or somebody with strong gemini in their chart all right capricorn let's see I'm going to read the energies of the cards here. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. So you could be dealing with a situation like this right now in the future. Some of you may have already dealt with a situation like this. Um, what else? Cross watchers, keep in mind that um, time is time is fluid and energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, right? So assign the roles as you wish. Um, this is a general reading. All right, Capricorn. I feel like you have a new beginning out there somewhere. And I do believe that it is stable if you follow your heart towards it. I feel like you're just very scared right now. I really do. Um, Ace of Pentacles, this is Earth energy. So you got an offer out there somewhere you, with a new beginning. Um, you worry if, you're worried if it's going to be long term. You're worried if it's the most stable move for you. Coming through as the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like it is. So there's a new offer from a new energy. Like I said, there's too many people here. Your concern, is it is it going to be stable? And I do believe it is. Um, but that's for you to decide, right? Here's the challenge, right? Past versus um, future. And you're, you're right in the middle. That's what I'm seeing. I'm just, the challenge is there's too many people here. That's the challenge. What are you going to do? What are you going to choose? What are you going to decide? There's two people looking at you. There's two people looking at you, waiting for you to figure this out, waiting for you to be honest with yourself, waiting for you to make a decision on where, what direction you're going to be heading in. What decision you're going to be making, right? So that is the challenge. You're going to have to, to choose. Again, um, with this card right here, King of Cups, yes, you could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with strong water in their chart. But I feel like this is, again, speaking about you following your heart. Okay? Um, have you grown emotionally enough to be able to do that, to be able to give your heart to somebody um, are you following your intuition here? 
what does your heart tell you to do? You absolutely need to follow your heart here. It's almost Capricorn. It's almost like you are being tested. Especially with that Wheel of Fortune there. It's almost like there's some sort of karmic um, situation going on here. And you are being tested to see exactly what you're going to do. The advice is to follow your intuition and follow your heart here. That's the advice. Um, your focus is... <sighs> can you trust the stability of the future situation that you want to follow your heart towards? Can you trust this person that it's going to last? I feel like it will. Coming through as the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like it will. I also feel like with this past situation... You need to be honest with your emotions about this. And you could be, you know, devising some sort of like escape plan here, right? Like I was saying with this, maybe some of you, child support, alimony, that kind of thing. Taking what you can get and getting out of that. But is that the most important thing here? I feel like the most important thing is you experience what your heart is telling you that it wants to experience, but you, you're not being honest with yourself right now, you, with yourself. And it's hindering you from moving forward. So you got two people looking at you, waiting for you to make your move, waiting for you to make a decision. I feel like the past um, would still, you could still work things out. You could still stay there if you wanted to. Uh, but the future is very much looking forward to being with you also. So I feel like the choice is yours and uh, wherever you want to put the effort in, right? That's, that's going to be your future. Three of Pentacles, that is Earth Energy. See, you, you've got somebody new around you. We got Ace of Wands with Ace of Pentacles. This is a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry here between you and this new energy. Right? Can you trust it? Is it stable? It's where your heart wants to be. It's where your heart wants to be. Very attracted to each other, I feel. Ace of Wands, that's fire energy. Again, you're going to have to... The, the choice is yours. The choice is yours here and what you want to do. You just got to be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself here. What do you want? Where does your happiness lie? Is it stability? Or is it love? Love or money? Two of wands, that is fire energy. Oh my God, look at that. What are you going to do? It's a very difficult decision, isn't it? It's very difficult. It's very emotional. You know, you may have uh, a business, like be intertwined um, financially, like in a business or something, or simply intertwined financially with this past person. Or maybe you have children with this past person. It's very, very difficult. But look at decisions, 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 right? Look at that. There's a soulmate energy here. A soulmate energy. And like I said, this past person, they would want to, they would work it out with you. They would. They would work it out with you. Six of Cups, that's water. All right. Three of Pentacles for Capricorn. Please clarify the Three of Pentacles for Capricorn. Please clarify. Look at that. And another ace. Another ace. I feel like you're going towards a new beginning here. That's where I feel like, look at here, justice. For those of you that are considering a divorce and moving forward, I feel like that's what you're going to do. Or a legal separation and you're moving on. That's for some of you, not all of you. But you you are... It's, it's a very big decision, and it's a very emotional decision for you, but a decision is happening, right? 
I feel like you you're you're preparing to follow your heart here towards this new energy and there is a new energy here. There is a new energy. The past is like a partnership. The new energy, that's where your heart really is. And I feel like your heart's going to win. I feel like your heart's going to win. You're going to figure this out, Capricorn. You are. Um, so, Ace of Swords, a victory, a new beginning. You're going to make the, the proper decision. That is best for you. I feel like most of you are going to follow your heart towards a new energy here. You've got three Aces here. You've got, look... And one more. Let me see if I can fit it in. Where'd it go? Look at that. Right? So that's absolutely beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. So you're getting clear. You're getting clarity of mind with this Ace of Swords so that you can make the proper decision. Right? Right here. Justice. This is a very um, karmic lesson for you. All right. A huge karmic lesson for you. You may have, with that Six of Cups, you may have soul ties to both of these energies. This is for Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn? What is going on with Capricorn? Look at that. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. What do you want? Again, with this decision. It's huge. It's huge. Have you learned? Have you learned? Have you learned? Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. I feel like there's a lot of toxic elements to this past situation very unbalanced right and it's more of a partnership you're there more out of obligation than anything else i just don't feel like there's love there your 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 heart is with the new 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 and i feel like that's where you're heading and you're going to have to make that decision 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 where's the other one decision Love or money, I feel like you're going to choose love. And that's quite beautiful. But ultimately, it's your life and it's your choice. So there you go, Capricorn. That's what's going on. Um, I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Please do follow the links because there are some imposters out there. And also, uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. I do have a weekly schedule and I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live every day but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. Um, so check that out. All that information can be found down below or in the description box of my channel. Next week, Capricorn, I'm going to be working on the future love reads for everyone. So check those out. You guys take very good care of yourself. And um, yeah, I will talk to you very soon. I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're staying healthy. And you take very good care of yourself and God bless.